Hey there, so I had some questions about Rails, and I was just going to try and clear things up really quick. So I have a test example here with TX, so it's more dense, so we can see the effect a little bit better. And this is an alt account of mine, so let's see how this works. So you can roughly see what the damage pattern is like. It's probably should make these a little bit larger, but it looks like they're roughly all the same size. We can wait for our uh, alt account to heal up here. Let me switch tabs and walk them back into the shield. And then uh, step them back out. You'll probably just see the screen freeze at this point. But uh, let's see that one more time. So as you can see, there's an about even sized hole through all three layers. And that's just taking each layer is taking a third of the rail damage and spreading it out evenly in a regular kind of damage pattern. Alright, so I gotta keep moving my alt account here so I don't get uh, timed out. But uh, I just stepped him back into the shield to heal up a little bit faster. So now I've got it set up so I can actually only shoot one layer. Now someone was saying that the remaining two shots would uh, completely overpenetrate and be wasted. So let's see what happens. So it actually, I think it might have hit one, two. So I'll try to do a little bit shallower of an angle next time. But as you can see, that's a single layer. And there was not overpenetration. It was a much bigger pattern than previously. Let's test that again. And once again, you're probably just going to see my screen freeze while I'm resetting it up. Uh, let's try and hit it off to the side of green. Now, the thing is, it's going to sink into the leg here, but let's see. I don't want to hit yellow. So there you go. There's a much bigger pattern than the first shot. So that's at least two th two thirds of the damage. You can do the math on the cubes if you want. Um, keep in mind that the radius of the hole is a function of r squared, right? So let's see what happens when it hits two layers. I'm going to quickly make sure my other account doesn't get uh, disconnected for activity. There we go. Uh, let's hit two layers and see what happens now. So now, remember, in the previous video I talked about rail damage. It should dump the remaining two-thirds of the damage on the yellow layer. And as you can see, there's a small hole in the first layer. And then there's a much larger hole in the second layer. Now, the, the, I lost the cubes in the corner, but you can still see that the hole is much larger on the second layer. So hopefully that co um, covers up that uh, misconception. If you want to do testing, I encourage you to go ahead and do testing on your own. Uh, have a good day. All right, I, need, I forgot to test one more thing. So uh, someone had also commented that uh, electroplates will stop damage from penetrating on rails. And I'm pretty sure it just functions as another layer. So right now this shield is just a little bit over the exact amount of health of a third of the damage of this rail. So if it t soaks all the damage and prevents over penetration, then we should see it all flow out of the shield and into the blocks around the shield as it dumps all three shots into the shield. But if not, it'll penetrate through to the two remaining layers. So let's see what happens. And as you can see, it goes through the electroplate, which is about exactly a third of the health, plus it's missing a few health, and then it goes through the remaining two layers. Hopefully that clears up any misconceptions.